Hi everyone, today I'm going to unbox and review the Robofinity Inside Drive. It is the first AI power thermal imaging desk app. Before I come back, please click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel. I'll be back. Hi everyone, what I have here is the Robofinity Inside Drive. It is the first AI power thermal imaging dash cam. The cool thing about this particular dash cam, it can read thermal, like a heat uh, signature of your target. So you can see uh, objects in front of you while you're driving at night. It will show you the heat signature. It has a computer uh, software that is uh, controlling that thermal imaging uh, system which is really cool and this is really really nice if you are uh, you know like to go hunt at night and or driving at night because uh, it's really hard to see uh, things at night but uh, especially when you're on patrol right if you're armed security officer or police officer uh, even a military uh, if you're in the dark you can see like thermal uh, images at night when you drive your car so yeah this is really interesting i'm really excited look at that uh, it's, it shows uh, the heat signature. Uh, it looks like the military like thermal uh, vision where you can see a, a thermal signature of your target. So yeah, this is really cool. Uh, it doesn't matter if somebody is wearing like black hoodies, black shirt, and you know like dark clothing at night. This uh, dash cam apparently can uh, read the thermal signature of that target, that particular object. So let's unbox. Hi everyone. Uh, the Robofinity inside drive comes in this box and you can just remove this so open the box um, it's really really nice guys and look at that it comes with a nice box and there you go nice padding and then let's open it uh, oh this is nice let's open this part oh look it comes with the dash cam like uh, monitor it's really nice it looks like a, a small monitor this is going to display the uh, image okay your dash cam image and then oh look at this this one is the oh that's the camera this is the thermal imaging camera right here uh, i think you can mount it anywhere you want on either inside or outside the car some people put it outside uh, i think you can actually put it inside if you want to but anyway so you got you got a, a small nice monitor right here and uh the camera right here which is cool so and oh wow this is so cool okay so i guess this is it the box let's move on to oh look at this oh i, I guess this one if you decide to put the camera outside this looks like a cable puller so you uh, uh, push it right here in your trim and then it will show up in your engine bay see that a cable puller nice and some kind of rubber cover here and then uh oh look uh it's like more like power cable this right is here. The, the power so you're gonna do it like that oh this is the one okay i get it so like that and then the secret lighter will go it's like the four prong see that the five prong will go into your monitor the five prong this is a power cable right here the five prong will go to see that five prong so it goes to the monitor okay and then the four prong will go to the this part here so you you can uh to the cigarette lighter Hold on. Yep, hold on. There you go. So this is the power cable. Nice. Now we're learning together. Oh, uh, this is like the mount. It's a. Uh, this is it's gonna go to your windows, and this is the magnetic. Basically, it's gonna see that. Isn't that cool? It will actually uh, attach to your uh, monitor. It's a magnetic. It's really really nice and then uh, 
what's gonna happen is uh, we're gonna open this box oh look at that uh, it has a bunch of 3m mounts look and bunch of cable or organizers whoa look at that so let's get them out and what is that it looks like a bunch of tools so and then more cables oh look it comes with the tools that you needed this is nice it has a set of screwdrivers look at that and then oh this is nice it comes with 32 gigabyte memory uh, card this is nice this is very generous uh, usually desk cam doesn't come with it but this this unit actually come with it so let's check it out yeah i'm not gonna install this today but i'm going to show you how it works let's do this they say it's really easy to install this it's gonna take more time to actually install it uh but this is what's gonna happen uh my daughter is here and i'm gonna show you how to use the uh, cable puller i'll be back hey everyone for those of you who wants to mount the camera on your hoods this is really nice this is a cable puller for the thermal imaging uh, camera right here uh, really really nice what you want to do i uh, find uh, a crack right here it's right it's right here on my toyota uh, rav4 uh, my daughter is here to help me uh, show them Brenna. let's go to the other side and then oh ouch <laughs> i just bumped my head hold on and just keep pulling then until you sit show them so it's gonna uh, come out right here right, like that see that you just keep pushing then you hook this cable right here on, on the hook and then once you hook it right here hold on see this part here you hook it and then you pull this back inside your interior of your car so yeah this is the cable puller uh what's gonna happen is i'm gonna mount the camera somewhere in the middle there but i don't have time today to install it but i'm showing you how to use the cable puller to you have a pretty nice long cable so you can mount the camera uh the lcd right there right so you want to measure it first and then once you're done you pull the cable puller and the, the cable will go from your engine bay to your interior part of the car so yeah this is really cool guys that they give you this uh tool so i'll be back hi everyone i put all the installation uh tool right here but i almost forgot to show you that the robofinity comes with this is the thermal imaging uh computer unit right here isn't that nice this is the computer that i was telling you about this thing's supposed to mount somewhere here inside the car uh, i think this is gonna be a good place for it once i pull the uh, camera cable inside uh, what you want to do is once you pull this cable from your uh, engine bay you want to connect it right here voila see that you connect it right there that will go to the thermal imaging camera right here which is really cool and then uh, this is a really really interesting unit guys so okay from the the camera uh, power cable there is this power connector cable right here yes yeah it's gonna take more than five to ten minutes to do this if you want to install it uh, because it's gonna take time to place everything in order so what you want to do now uh, you want to put this power cable to the computer unit see that and there's one way in one way out this thing that has the flappy tab it's gonna go on the top you want to click it right so now what's gonna happen is i'm gonna put this uh, computer right here with a uh, sticky tape right there see that and then this cable is gonna go from underneath from the camera and then to here now let's see if this thing's gonna work it's gonna require a uh, cigarette lighter uh, power so i'm gonna go ahead and the cool thing about this it comes with extra usb plug right here so you can you won't lose um you can ex uh, charge your phone right so we're gonna turn the car on 
and then we're gonna test the Robofinity inside drive. Voila! Now, this thing's supposed to power up the unit. Ah, look at that! <laughs> Isn't that nice? Uh, it's a bit bright, but now let's check the. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> What's gonna happen is, it's telling you to put the memory card. We're gonna put the memory card. It says, if, if uh, it doesn't have memory card, it will tell you, hey, dude, put the memory card first. So you want to put it, I think it's right over here, like that. This thing is, let's see. Oop, let's see, I think it's right here. Okay, r l l like that. The black part is facing toward the screen. Just press it. Voila, hey, hold on. There you go, it clicked. Now it's, it's telling, whoop, now. Oh, look at that, see that? Isn't that nice? Actually, the military used this uh, technology. It reads my heat signature. Uh, that's like my daughter right there, heat signature. And this is me. Look at that. It, it doesn't matter if it's uh, daytime or nighttime. Uh, it will show the thermal imaging. I look really ridiculous in the thermal imaging. Look at that. The heat, yeah, I'm really, really hot, so it's red. So see that, the thermal imaging. So this actually works right out of the box. Yeah, they don't lie when it says uh, five minutes to run it, but to actually mount it, it's gonna take longer just because, you know, you're gonna run the cable and to make sure everything is mounted properly. But other than that, this is awesome guys, this is super easy. I mean, all you need to do is just put the uh, the memory card, plug the power, and voila! And look, it, it detects the thermal imaging. And and look at that, uh, the one that is uh, cold, there is no uh, heat signature, but when it comes to human, because we, you know, we have body heat, so it, it detects that body heat, which is really, really cool. Look at that, see, isn't that nice? Yeah, this is super good, guys. This is like the first AI power uh, thermal imaging. It's powered by this computer right here. So yeah, I'm gonna going to install it when I have time. Uh, I'm gonna start mounting it, but not in this video. But at least you guys know what to do when if you want to install this. Actually, it's pretty easy uh, because it comes with with all the tools that you need. So yeah, this is nice, guys, and it's super easy. In order to use the the drive, you need to format it. Let's turn it back on. See, I just turned it back on. And uh, let's figure out um, how to format this. I'm gonna format this, okay? I'll be back. Hi everyone, this is what I like about new technology when I got new product to review and unbox. Uh, like right now, when we put the memory card, the SD card uh, is not formatted yet. In order to format it before you can use it to store data, you have to click here, the setting icon here. You click the, the screen first this uh, five icons will show up and click the latest one. Oh, stop recording first. <laughs> it doesn't like you to uh, go to the setting when it's recording. This is uh, for uh, rain mode and that's if you want to record. Look at that. Then you can turn it back off and you can see your recording. Actually, you can't right now because I need to format the the sim uh, the memory card. I'm going to go to the setting. Oop, go. I'm gonna turn the recording off and then click format. Are you going to format? Confirm. Yes. Now let it format. When it's done, I'll be back. Let's record now. I'm gonna record myself. Whoa, look at that. We're recording right now. What you wanna do, you click this camera button. When there's that uh, red uh, dot, that means it's recording. This is super cool, guys. Look, uh, I'm just gonna go around. Ah, oh, that's me again, that bald guy in red. I'm so hot. <laughs> I'm all red right now. <laughs> but anyway, this is super cool. Anyway, now I, I, I'm gonna stop recording and then you can replay back the recording by clicking here, storage, and then pick this one and play it. Cool, huh? So you can review uh, your recording. Hi everyone, this 
Robo Affinity Inside Drive is comp compatible with the iPhone iOS as well as the Android uh, phone app. So you can actually uh, connect it to your uh, either iOS, but the iOS uh, app is still in beta development. But the Android is uh, is available from uh, Google Play Store. So you want to get the Android app right there. What's gonna happen? It's telling you to connect to the computer Wi-Fi right here. So we're gonna go ahead and connect it. Okay. Go to your Wi-Fi setting, and then go to a cyber box, and then obtaining IP address from this box. Okay. Now it's all connected. Now we want to click the app again. Okay. Oh, look at that. Okay. Yes, stay connected. There you go. Now look at that. Now, uh, whatever you see uh, on your, uh, what is the camera? Okay, this is the camera. Look, see, you can see it. Whatever you see on the screen right here. See that? Now you see it on the, the camera. Let's see, that's me. <laughs> see that? So, whatever you see on the, the screen here, you can see it on your Android through the Android app. Isn't that cool? So it's really, really easy. What you need to do is just connect the Android uh, app to the computer cyber box uh, Wi-Fi, they call it. So, yeah, it's really cool, guys. So This is really nice. If you uh, on patrol, I'm armed security officer. Uh, I think I'm gonna put this on my uh, patrol car right there, my Caprice. Uh, since this is actually nice, uh, I can't see uh, bad guys if they run away at night. So because the thing is, crime happen at night, and bad guys tend to hide in the dark. So this thing can actually detect bad guys. Uh, you know, this is really really nice. Actually, this is a really nice tool for uh, law enforcement or a private security officer if for your patrol car you need this uh, yeah this is super super cool guys so anyway uh, i hope you uh, go ahead and click the link the affiliate links to buy this unit and make sure you try it out uh, this is super good guys it's pretty easy to operate just plug and play i think the the longest part for you is to to install this on your car because you need to find uh the correct place you know like to mount this camera either inside or outside your uh your car i think the be best way for this is going to be outside since you know uh, like somewhere in the hood area so you can uh, actually have a clear view instead of inside the inside the in, uh, inside the car because there's like if the window is fogging then you don't get the good quality of recording so anyway Thank you so much guys guys for watching and for subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please click the subscribe button. Love you guys. Bye.